I can hear you already. Tom, Tom, you just released a video talking about Apple Notes and how great it is and what you can do with it. And you even published a course about using Apple Notes. Now you're publishing a video about don't use Apple Notes, use Evernote instead. And I have a very good reason to do so. When I do these videos on YouTube and sharing my opinion on these tools, it's very important to understand a few principles which all come down to the i framework that I'm teaching in the Paperless Movement Membership. i stands for Input, Control, Output, Refine. And in this framework, I define my productivity setup with a lot of different tools. I'm using a lot of different tools and all of them have their specific purpose. And this is the importance, what tools to pick and what you actually do with them. What we don't want to have is duplicating information and having it in different places. So you end up not finding the information that you collected then when you need it. And in this video, I will share you exactly why I use Apple Notes and when I use Evernote and why I don't use either of them for taking notes. <laughs> So Tom, you're saying you're not using either for note taking. What are you doing with them? Good question, actually. What tools I'm using for taking notes, I will let you know in the end of the video. But now I want to show you what I'm using Apple Notes and Evernote for and why so many people actually want to switch from Evernote to Apple Notes, why you shouldn't switch and what alternatives we have there. So the, the reason why I'm doing this video is that one of my members inside the Paperless Movement community posted a question about how to switch from Evernote to Apple Notes. And he has more than 8,000 notes in Evernote and he wants to export this and bring it in into Apple Notes. And he actually has written, because Tom switched to Apple Notes, I want to do this as well. And this is where the alarm bell was ringing in my head. There is the misunderstanding. And it's very important to me that I make this video to make clear why I pick other tools and why you shouldn't change your system just because I'm changing the system. This is why the i framework is tool agnostic. It should give you the principles to understand your setup and know exactly what tools to use instead of to listening to other people who say, this is the best note taking app. This is the best knowledge management. You have to use Notion. You have to use Obsidian. You have to use Evernote and so on. Ignore these people. Once you get the i framework, you totally understand what it is that you need for your system. I give you the example today with Apple Notes and Evernote because this is actually the elephant in the room, right? Uh. Oh, pun intended. I totally get it. People want to switch to Apple Note because they finally can use their Apple Pencil. Handwritten notes is for so many of you so much easier to collect information. And then with the advantage that your handwriting becomes searchable, this is for many the reason to switch. And why from Evernote to Apple Notes? Because also you can use your Apple Pencil inside Evernote. It is not as good of a feeling writing in Evernote if you really want to have best of both worlds. Here is my recommendation. Use Note Shelf. I talked about Note Shelf as well in the video where I compared the handwriting note-taking apps. Note Shelf is the only one out of all the handwriting note-taking apps on the iPad that synchronizes with Evernote. So this means you have a notebook inside note shelf you can take your notes in there so it will share your notebook in form of images inside Evernote and Evernote will scan these images and this means all your notes that you take inside note shelf will become searchable inside Evernote and whenever you take notes it will update the notebook inside Evernote so I think this is the good solution that you actually extend the functionality of Evernote by using something like note shelf instead of migrating everything over to another system that might just destroy your overall productivity. Evernote has a lot more to offer than just taking notes. And in fact, I personally never used Evernote for taking notes. Evernote is in my productivity system, the document dump. I'm using it just to scan in. Here's the Raven scanner that I'm using. My paper documents like contracts and things like this to have it in Evernote because Evernote makes all these documents searchable very easily. So I scan in a contract and I even don't need to organize them in Evernote because the search engine is so great that when I search for the company of this contract that I'm looking for, it will show me all the documents that I scanned in. 
And this is the power behind Evernote. And this is the reason why I'm still staying with Evernote and the only reason. And I know there are alternatives now. You can use Google Drive, you can use Dropbox. They also have this OCR. So whenever you scan anything in and actually handwriting is included. So if you have handwritten paper notes and you scan them in, they become searchable inside Evernote, inside G Drive. So why don't I use Google Drive or Dropbox to do this? In Evernote, I still have the option in addition to the PDF that becomes available inside Evernote, I can take some notes above the PDF that are related to this. For example, I have an invoice that I have some issues with and I made a phone call. Then I can make the note directly related to the document on there. And this is not possible using G Drive or Dropbox. Is it proper note taking? No, but kind of, because again, it's coming down to the iCore framework. I want to have my related information there where it is relevant. And in this case, I want to take the notes directly on the document where I scanned it. When I get in my head, oh, I have to find a contract. This is my single source of truth to find contracts, invoices and things like that. I won't look anywhere else. And this is very important. And this gives you peace of mind. So this being said, Apple Notes with the recent updates also provides you search inside PDF files. This is awesome. So if you really want to migrate from Evernote to Apple Notes, you can actually import the PDF files from Evernote into Apple Notes and they become searchable. This is great. And you have with Apple Notes a lot more features like you can take pictures and if there is any text on the pictures, they become searchable and all this. And especially if you like to annotate your PDFs with your Apple Pencil, using it in Apple Notes might be the much better solution. Just be aware, whenever you want to search for the annotation, this won't work. So when you add new handwritten notes inside the PDF, they are not searchable. This is a downside. So Apple Notes in this regards really becomes a great alternative. But to me, in my case, it's not working because I cannot directly scan with my scanner into Apple Notes. I could use my iPhone to make pictures of the documents, but I want to have a consistent quality of the scans. And this is a whole other video where I talk about how to go paperless and the different type of scanners. If you're interested in this, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss this video. But this is the reason for me why I stick with Evernote for now. So really think twice before you switch from a system that you used for years over years, building up a knowledge management and then switching over. If you switch, make sure that you at least run one, two, three months, both systems side by side. So whenever you realize something is not working, you can easily switch back. This is very important to know. I totally get that Apple Notes is very well integrated into the Apple ecosystem. And this is another reason why people want to switch. I get this. However, Evernote is very well integrated as well. And you have access cross platform. So whenever, you know, for some reason you're switching to Windows or anything else, you still have access to your notes. And Evernote is around for so long, they keep growing and improving their platform. So this is not a platform that will go away the next day. Even worse to switch to something like Apple Notes would be switching into a complete new system like a startup company and put your files there that might don't last for long just because they provide you one quick solution. Make very settle changes in your productivity system. Never change a running system, right? Even if you have friction inside your system. Inside a paperless movement membership, I help my members to focus not on what tool to pick, but to look at the existing productivity system and identify the bottlenecks and see what changes we can do to overcome the friction in this productivity system. And if we end up uh, deciding that it is actually the wrong tool, then we make this change, but we make it very defined. So why don't I use Evernote for note-taking? Well, Evernote was one of the very first digital note-taking apps that you could get years ago. But to date, we have a lot more options to actually connect our thinking, linking your thinking at, as Nick Milo says it. So we have tools like Notion and Obsidian and Rome Research where we can actually connect our notes, give it a, another level of sense. And I will actually do another video about this where I compare Evernote, Notion, Obsidian and Craft as the non-handwriting note-taking apps of choice where I go in much more detail about this. For this video, I just want to point out that Evernote doesn't allow the interconnection of notes. Yes, don't go into the comments yet. You can 
bring in links from other nodes and you can link out to other nodes. So this makes it possible that you can actually cross link your nodes. But this is a manual process still in Evernote. And I talked to Ian Small, the CEO from Evernote. I made him aware that they should really bring in backlinks like Notion brought it in. As soon Rome research was released, Notion brought in backlinks. And I published a Notion course inside the Paperless Movement membership where I go into detail how this interconnected note taking actually works. And once you watch this course, you will understand how Obsidian works, how Rome Research works, because all of them have the same principles. But it is the power of backlinks. You're building up a network of nodes. And when it comes to what note taking apps I use, I use several. So for personal notes, and for example, writing a script for my YouTube videos, I'm using Obsidian. In Obsidian, I'm processing my thoughts. However, Notion I use for business note taking, as well as Coda I use for business note taking. And you might say, Tom, why are you using so many different tools for all the different nodes? As I said in the beginning, there's a definition behind this. I know exactly what nodes to take in what tool. And there's a reason why I'm using these different tools. And with the Icon Mastery, you will learn exactly how to set up your own productivity system the same way as I do. So you in the end have a well-oiled machine. So if you want to learn more about the differences of the tools that I use, make sure that you subscribe to this channel because there are a lot more videos to come that will explain you exactly the differences of those tools. And if you really want to deep dive and learn about how to level up your productivity system, then make sure to join our Paperless Movement membership and I welcome you in there and I help you to get you to the next level. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll catch you up next time.